Hello and welcome to vlog number 44. <laughs> I'm now going to pass back to over a week ago Chloe who forgot to introduce the vlog. Good morning it is Monday the 2nd of August and I'm awake before work for the first time in forever because the guys finally come in to fix my dishwasher today. If you watched my London vlog you will know that it decided to function as a tap while I went away to London and flooded my apartment. So that is being fixed today, hopefully, which we love. Um, but I just wanted to run you through my plans for the day. So today is actually the launch of my book club. So I need to read my section of Killing for Company, The Case of Dennis Nilsson by Brian Masters. And I have set everybody the task of getting up to page 62. I have read the first two chapters before and I hated the second chapter. So we will see what happens. I definitely need to read it like and follow the schedule because I've asked everyone else to follow the schedule. Feels a little bit rude if I don't. So there's that one. But then my overall plans for the week, I'd love to at least get through Slimy Stewart's as well. Like one of the little horrible histories books. And if I could start the Inheritance Games, that would be really cool. I'm thinking this will probably be my Sunday night reading sprint read. And then we've shuffled around so I can talk to you about audiobooks because I'd left this over here. Currently, I have the audiobook of The Cruel Prince on the go. And I only have, I'm on page 290 out of 370. So only 80 pages left to go, um, which I'm hoping to finish off this morning while I work. We will see. And then I also have the audiobook of the Maze Runner downloaded because I have only ever seen the first movie and I've never read the books. And I, I really did want to read the book, but I didn't physically have the effort to. I did used to own the physical copy and I think I read a chapter and got rid of it. So when I found the audiobook, I thought, great. Um, I've been listening to it to fall asleep. I've been listening to the same first two chapters for like a week now and not really talking about it because I knew I wouldn't carry it on in the day. I just needed some background noise. So hopefully this week I'm going to listen to that too. But yeah, I'll give you an update when there is something interesting to talk about. I'm not angry, but... The guy just turned up to fix the dishwasher. I've cleaned my kitchen. I've cleaned my flat more than I necessarily would every day. And um, the, the part he needs, he didn't bring it. it. Hasn't arrived yet, so he couldn't do anything. He just walked in and walked straight back out. <laughs> and he hadn't remembered until he stepped into my apartment that he'd been here before. So, no need to do that. My dishwasher is still broken. He said I can use it and just make sure I turn this little tap thing and it will drain itself. I don't trust it. <laughs> I cleaned so much. Hello, quick little update. Sorry, the lighting might be a bit awful, but the phone is on charge, so I can't change that. Um, I popped out to do some posting, things like that, like boring boringness um, and while I was out I popped into Superdrug and got a coffee face mask for two pound which I'm sure these used to be more expensive maybe they're just you know they've had enough of them but I've got a little coffee face mask to use um I don't really know I've never bought like a big pot of face mask so exciting exciting um, then since I've been back, I've finished the audiobook for The Cruel Prince and I've kept my rating at three and a half stars. Reading it the first time, I wasn't a massive fan of the world building, but I did like the end. I did prefer the end again this time, but the world building just made a lot more sense because I have read a little bit more fantasy since reading this. Um, I still feel like I missed a lot, but if I feel like I've missed a lot twice, maybe it's just not described well enough. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I have read this. So hopefully I will actually get on to the Wicked King relatively soon. But the main reason I chose right now to do an update is I got a delivery of the Sad Ghost Club by Liza, Liza Meddings, I want to say. And this is a graphic novel about a sad ghost. So I'm quite excited. I don't know much about this at all. Um, but a lot of people said I'd really enjoy it and I got it on BookSwap. So, sorted. 
I did have another book delivery and it's a birthday present for Victoria. It's a long time till her birthday, but I'm getting everything sorted and nice. So got that as well. Obviously can't share you in case Victoria watches this vlog, but it was a book. So, you know, it would have made sense in the vlog. I'm going to stop talking. I'm very tired and hungry and ugh. Hello, I'm still working, um, but we have a package and I can't really show you without showing my address. It's a little bit beat up, so I really hope that's just the packaging, um, not Amazon. Um, while I was on sprints last night, Sue said that there was a surprise coming my way. So is this Sue's surprise? We will see. <gasps> There's two books in here. Okay, we have Ace of Spades by this author, which I will research before I um, talk about the book again, because I, I don't know. Um, but yeah, Ace of Spades and the new Nicola Yoon. It is Instructions for Dancing. I love Nicola. Well, I say I love Nicola, Nicola Yoon. I love everything, everything. I didn't like The Sun is Also a Star, but this one sounds really, really good. So Sue, did you buy me two books? Oh, you did, you absolute sweetheart. <laughs> so it says, enjoy your gift. Loving the sprints, I get to relax. So this is Sue from Read Long With Sue. I will make sure she is linked in the description, but this is just so adorable and so completely over the top. So thank you so much, Sue. I really appreciate you. You are an absolute gem, but yeah. Oh my God. Hello, it is Tuesday evening. I was supposed to have a revision session tonight, but the college that's running it um, cancelled it because the guy's on holiday and his B&B &B didn't have good enough internet. Like, what a crappy excuse. Get someone who's not on holiday to run it. Like, anyway, baffled I am, I'm baffled. So I was just kind of feeling a little bit disheartened and I was like, I don't want to study. That college has let me down. I'm gonna go for a nice bubble bath, but I'm glad I didn't go that instant because now was the boss arrived and that would have not been a good time but I'm feeling a book and some sweets <laughs> or just a big thing of sweets I just threw it sorry if we lose oh, oh <laughs> I was having the face with it okay there we go we're in we're in oh it's gift wrapped who has gift wrapped me something? This is nuts. This is from Joe. Joe, you're adorable. Sorry to hear you're having a tough time, Chloe. I'm not in a long distance relationship, but I have had to shield during COVID, so I haven't seen my boyfriend much at all. It is very hard, so I know a bit about how you feel. Enjoy the nice, easy read from Joe. Isn't that the cutest thing? And also, I'm sorry, Joe, I didn't know that. That must have been absolutely horrible. And I hope you're coming out of it now this is what is it what is it what is it oh sprayed edges I'm trying not to bend it in the bag rainbow gray by laura ellen anderson um and i will not oh, these pages are gorgeous i will not lie the only reason i want to read this is because gavin is a character even if it's just like a side character i know that gavin is a character I'll be saving this for Believeathon, which is running in November, I believe. I know that my readathon is happening in November, so maybe, maybe I'll have to make it part of that. But no, I'm sure I'll have time in November. But this is about um, the world needs a rainbow like never before. Ten-year-old Ray Gray wishes she had magic like her friends. Life in the Weatherlands just isn't the same without it. But then a forbidden trip to the earth turns everything Ray thought she knew about herself upside down. Ray must dig deep to find her inner power, battle new enemies, and let her true colours shine. And that just sounds so cute, doesn't it? The actual book is adorable. It's, oh, it's going to look adorable on my shelves. And just thank you so much, Jo. Thank you for sympathising, empathising. I'm never sure which the right one is. I'm sorry that you've been in a situation that can be compared to similar. Like anybody who's in any sort of situation like this, my heart fully goes out to you because I know how hard it is. So... I really do appreciate the love and the well wishes, but yeah, this has really made me smile. Thank you so much, Jo. Hello. It is half six on Wednesday and I just got home. <laughs> I'm so tired. Um, but I did actually have a really good day. We had a mostly training day. 
went out for lunch, uh, did a little bit of work and then had a revision session for college and me and my friend went to um, Starbucks and like watched it together and yeah, it was very sweet. And then I came home to a parcel, which I believe is Candy Kittens from Sue. But let's see it together. It is Candy Kittens and when I said to Sue, like, thanks for the gift, she said there are sweeties coming, but they um, weren't on Amazon Prime. So saw your sweet tooth from Sue and we've got some blueberry candy kittens. Oh, I don't think I've tried blueberry yet. These look so good. I think I bought them for somebody else and wanted to try them. So thank you so much, Sue. It adds to the amazingness of your present. And yeah, I'm just so tired. I need to study more tonight, but I'm feeling like doing, I did sit through the full session and was really engaged. So I might go over what we did in that session and then read. I might treat myself to a reading evening. I just, I really, I really want to tonight. I do have a less heavy evening tomorrow because of boogie bounce. Um, but yeah, I feel like if I'm doing three solid evenings a week, at least that's enough. I don't know. I'm stressing, but the stuff he went through today, you need like 55% to pass. And the stuff he went through today, I reckon I could have got 60% of it right without doing the extra actual time at college. So I'm not trying to get arrogant about it, but I just feel like the one paper I have a bit more scope to, to do less work before we go back to college, even though it's virtual. And I also think I'm going to have to try and find a way to sit with like friends while I actually do the course. Because even though I really like sitting in my pyjamas, um, it was much nicer to have somebody else there. So I might try and organise that we get together when we actually do the college stuff. But yeah, I'm rambling. Uh, I should probably let you know about my reading. I will, I'm going to get cosy, do things I need to do, and I will update you later. If I don't, Editing Chloe is going to tell me off. On the bottom of the screen, Editing Chloe will be telling me off. But I will try my absolute hardest to let you know later on what's going on. <laughs> Okay, so I'm doing one better than not updating you on Wednesday night. This is Friday morning. Life just got so hectic. Like I have nothing to blame for the fact I didn't tell you about my reading on Wednesday. But yesterday, I left my apartment about half eight in the morning and I got back comfortably at 9 p.m. So yeah, just had a lot going on, <laughs> really. Um, it's been so manic and I, I don't know where my time is going. Like I remember getting in bed and thinking, oh, I can't believe it's 11 o'clock already. And then I thought, well, yeah, you've only been home two hours. Of course it's 11 o'clock. So on that note, what I have been reading is Killing for Company. And I am a little bit behind with my technically scheduled buddy read. I should be near the end now. I should be on page, here's stuck, 241 and I'm on page 154. So I'm quite behind. Um, but I, my plan is to just get this finished by the end of the weekend. My voice is gone. How fabulous. So I should be finishing it today, but I'm going to try and finish it by the end of the weekend. So all good. Um, this month's buddy read, this book has not really gone to plan already. A lot of people are unhappy with the book and not enjoying it, DNFing it. Um, which all I can say is sorry, um, personal preferences and all that, but I am actually enjoying seems like the wrong word i'm not enjoying it and um, but i am finding this quite fascinating what we've read so far is a lot of his upbringing so to be honest chapter two everyone who's read this book agreed that chapter two was a bit crap so we start with his arrest then we go into the origins of his family which was useless then his childhood which was kind of boring but had some good stuff then the army kind of boring had some good stuff police and civil service kind of boring but had some good stuff then we hit the victims chapter which oh my christ was so interesting and i'm currently sat in the disposal it's called disposal we you can assume where it's going and i'm finding that so interesting so yeah after that we're seeing him being on remand his trial maybe people are bored there but i know i, I don't really know what else we could get because we've got remand trial and then overall answers and you know following the arrest the victims what he did to them that's kind of what comes next so i don't know i am really enjoying this and i hope that people continue to participate in the book club following this book just seems that a lot of people don't like this one but i am enjoying it i'm also well i mean some of these pages i've gone a bit too far with the highlighting 
but I'm also annotating, well just highlighting, not writing, um, because I was thinking of doing a video one day of a Chloe's crime scene corner video, what, who's Dennis Nilsson, what happened, um, just for people who are interested but didn't want to actually sit and read the book, maybe, um, but I thought while I'm reading it I'll highlight it all up so that I can find the information, here we go, like there's a much less annotated page, just so I can find the information when I want to come back to it, but yeah, enjoying that. <sighs> I should start work now, very close to the weekend, and I've got some online training sessions to do today, so it should be a pretty nice day. Now I've said that out loud, I'm gonna really shoot myself in the foot, but I've got some really big problems to pick up on next week. Um, but yeah, try not to think about them too much this week. And I'm gonna work in my pajamas today. So yeah, ready to not chill, because I still do have a week, a day of work, but just not stress today. Yeah, but do you know how good Swedish fish are? Hello, it is quarter past one on Saturday and I've just got home after starting my day at 5.45 this morning. So I actually had the best morning. Cole woke me up for a chat as he does every morning, um, but we actually stayed on the phone for over an hour and a half just talking about the most random, non-important, but like nice stuff ever. And yeah, I really love it because a lot of the time when we're talking, one of us is tired because of the time difference and work and everything. So it's really nice this morning to just talk for such a long time. Like such a long time. And yeah, it was so nice. Um, but then I went and picked up my mom. I got her for eight o'clock because we went to Wellsbourne Market. And if you are not from, well, not from the UK, then don't worry about it at all. But if you are in the Midlands, I guess it's kind of near Stratford and it is the home of the bargain. Some of the stuff is suspiciously cheap. I actually got like everything I think I can find a reason why it was cheap. Sometimes you're not quite sure, but a lot of this stuff was just clearance stuff. So I wanna show you what I got. I'm just gonna have to move you a little bit so it's easier. But I have been eyeing up this dinnerware set from Asda for the longest time. It's the Under the Sea set. Look at this. So this retails in Asda for about £25 and apparently it had gone on sale in Asda, but I got it for £12. £12 for a 16 piece dinner set, which obviously I don't need because it's just me here, but so pretty. From the same guy, I've got some shoes in here. I got a giant frame. Um, I have a bookish art print lined up for that. And yeah, I just need to keep getting frames. Um, I seem to really want to make like a bookish wall and I don't know. So the frame was two pound, so I got it. What else did I even get? <laughs> oh, I got a box of Twinkies for two pound, which have just gone out of date. They went out of date, wait, no, they're not out of date yet. They're out of date in 12 days. I can eat 10 Twinkies in 12 days. So these were two pound, which is good for Twinkies. Then I got this Asda bath towel for four pound and it's pink and got tassels four pound smells a bit funky though um i think that is pretty much it apart from this crate of 24 coarse and press cans um this is elderflower lemonade and i got 24 cans for four pound so sorted and um, i think they are slightly out of date again so it's normally just because there's something a teeny tiny bit wrong when you buy them. Um, I think I also got some air fresheners for my car, but like nothing too exciting. And then on the way home, we went to Tesco and I had a little stationary splurge, starting with this Winnie the Pooh bag that says Old Bother, which I love. Um, just some little plastic wallets, nothing too exciting. And a notebook for college and some pens for college. Um, but then I treated myself to some pastel highlighters. I have the... Stabilo, Stabilo, however we say it. I have those ones, but I've been using them a lot and I wanted some more, so treated myself. And then, so that's all the shopping I've done today. But I came home to a Waterstones pre-order and I was half on the fence of cancelling this one. So this is one of the things where I think authors shouldn't have TikTok because this author posts a lot on TikTok and I'm a very easily irritable person. 
so I just did not really like their personality and also I don't really like what Netflix have done to this book which I'll talk to you about it when we get there so let's get this open I've only made three pre-orders this year and this is the first one and I don't want it which is so silly okay so this is one last time the kissing booth number three by Beth Reckles and okay let me kind of explain this has been made into a movie but it hasn't been made into a movie the kissing booth three exists but it doesn't match this book because Netflix wanted to make the movie before the book was published um so one, I don't like that it's got a movie cover for a movie it has nothing to do with. It just has the same characters. Apparently it's going a completely different route. And yeah, I'm easily irritable. So wasn't a massive fan of Beth on her TikTok. I'm sure a lot of people love it. She's very chatty. I just didn't really like some of the stuff she said because I'm that sort of person. And I don't want to read this right now because that means I need to reread number two, which is all about a long distance relationship. And I am not comfortable reading that until I have guaranteed flight days to see Cole. So one I probably shouldn't have pre-ordered, kind of forgot about it, kind of mad, my own fault, could have cancelled it. But yeah, I have it now. Maybe I should be more positive, but I did really want it at the time when I knew it was going to be a thing. I pre-ordered it as soon as I could, but I just don't really want to reread the sequel and Netflix have butchered it. So I don't know. I don't know. Now I really need to do uh, an exam um, like a practice exam before I get ready to go out again. I'm just really not in the mood. I think I'm going to chill, get a cup of tea, like relax for a minute, maybe read a little bit more of Killing for Company because I'm still not done. And just, yeah, like put these things away and stuff like that. But yeah, I need to be in a better mood. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I want to be in a good mood. Hello, it is Sunday morning. Um, Well, I say that it's like quarter past 11. Um, but I did have a bit of a lie in. I didn't get back till about midnight last night. So yeah, I'm kind of, kind of chilled. It was really weird. Like I, I had a cider while we were out and then I was drinking Coke because I was driving. Um, and oh my God, I was so tired. I got back and it was as if I was hung over. I was that tired. So yeah, I slept in till like 10. I submitted the exam I was doing yesterday, like the, the mock exam. So I've got another mock exam to do today and like an online session to finish. And I think that's all I'm gonna do today. That feels like quite a lot really to actually sit an exam. Um, so I'm going to do the washing up. Now I need to wash up all that new dinnerware stuff I got. So I'm gonna do the washing up, um, maybe make a bacon sandwich. I really feel like a bacon sandwich. Um, I'm gonna make a meal plan for the whole of next week and then I'm gonna get cracking with the studying. Then today I'm going to finish Killing for Company. It's gonna happen. But yeah, that is my plan. Um, while we were out last night, Josie did ask me what my takeaway for the week was because she needs to see it in the vlog. There has, there's gonna be no takeaway this week. Kind of sad, kind of proud of myself, kind of sad. Another quick thing, cause I just went to start playing my audiobook so I can like do bits and bobs. I'm listening to the audiobook of Queenie and I don't know if I've told you that, but I am kind of enjoying it. I'm a little bit bored, I won't lie. But yeah, I'm listening to that. So I'm gonna carry on doing that while I do the washing up and stuff. Okay, so my reading sprints start in five minutes. Um, I have submitted both exams pretty much pushed it until the last minute actually. Um, did get to spend a little bit of time with Cole, so that was nice. But I've got about 150 pages left and I'm gonna try and do it. Can I? I don't know, but I'm gonna try. Hello, so I'm actually still on my sprints, but I finished Killing for Company. Um, so I just wanted to talk to you about that very quickly. I've ended up on the uh, words. I'm malfunctioning tonight. If anyone that's watching this was watching my friend, my sprints you'll know that i'm just not with it i don't know what's wrong with me anyway i've gone with three stars because this thing only had 10 chapters but two of them were dnf worthy like they were just not a good time um but the actual content was so interesting so i'm really glad i've read it i would recommend it to people who want more information on this case but just I'd I'd recommend just dipping in and reading what you want to read rather than reading the whole thing, if that makes sense. So three stars for this one. And then that's it. I'm I'm done. Like I've been listening to the audiobook of Queenie while I started off the sprint and like writing my journal and things like that. But yeah, I think I'm gonna call it a night. 
This vlog has definitely been shorter than previous ones, but you know what? It's all good. I think the ones leading up to my exam now are gonna be very, very short because all I'm gonna be doing is working and studying. So there's not gonna be much vlog content, but I'm gonna try my best to, you know, eat some interesting food and show you weird posts and things like that because that's what's gonna be what makes the video. Um, but for now, if you've made it to the point, bleh, words, if you've made it to this point in the video, please leave me a blue emoji. I've noticed that my book's blue and my nail's blue. So any blue emoji, as I always say, it means so, so much to me when any of you guys make it to the end of these vlogs. It puts a massive smile on my face. I feel like it's a massive hug. I feel so supported. And yeah, I just appreciate you so much. But on that note, that's all I have to say. So thank you for watching and I will see you with another vlog next week. Mm -hmm.